evening YouTube. This is Black Red Silverbug coming to you with an unboxing plus my November pickups. I'm going to go ahead and start with this unboxing. This is from Provenant. And those of you who watched uh, last month's video might have an idea what could be here. There's the invoice. This one being heavier. That one here on the right is heavier. Get my gloves on. This is the 20 more Zombucks. These are all Zombucks here. 30 more. Top one there is a walker. Sort these out. Walker. Walker, 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 Buff, Zomba, Feast, Slade, Starving, Saint, Walker, 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 Buff, Buff, Feast, Slade, Starving, Starving, Walker. Okay. We've got 10 more. Here we have six different versions out of the 10. Buff, 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 <laughs> buff, 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 buff. Well, there are the results. Very nice. I would like to have gotten some Merc DMs. That's fine. If I counted right, eight walkers. 12 buffs, 2 feasts, 2 slayed, 1, okay, 2 saints, and 2 starving. Okay, alright, so that out of 50, <coughs> I, have, I have 20 in here. I'm going to go ahead and continue with my November pickups and stay on the topic of zombie buffs. So, in order to fill out the first set, I had to, I had to fill out, uh, I had to cull two of these. And I picked up four to complete a whole set. Okay, so these are our uh, coin store, no, excuse me, these are uh, local coin show pickups uh, to make the first set. And so I picked up. At that time, Merc Diem, The Barber, and Morgan. If you recall from my last video, those three were not represented and not represented again today. So I replaced the Slade dollar and then I picked up three more of the those Morgan, Merc Diem, and The Barber. So now with these copper, one of each, which I also picked up at the show, so now I have two full sets and one copper. So two full sets of silver and one copper plus uh, what I got today. Bunch of Zombuffs, Walkers, and the makings of, of a new set. I'm going to set these aside. I don't want to get any right so now to uh, my other pickups now some of these are the local coin shop and also at the coin show and so I'm gonna go real quickly through these uh, not a lot of money put into these a lot of trading and uh, but this is the one purchase I had and it is my first in pesos 
So here's an MS-65, 1944. Very, very nice on the other side. Okay. Then a uh, 1938 Umpeso. Also, supposedly, MS-65. Okay. And then finally a 1925. This is supposed to be a slightly lower mintage. It's a 1925. This one appears to be uh, possibly circulated. Okay. Probably paid a little too much for those. Those are my first, so I was excited to pick them up. <clears throat> okay. Also picked up six more vintage rounds. These are all basic. These are the U.S. assay. Okay, some of them in better condition than others, but some are toned. So I consider these to be just bullion. I get these for a buck, buck, buck or so over spot. Um, did find my first Inglehart round. It is toned. It's a nineteen eight. Uh, Excuse me, 1985 American Prospector Inglehart. Nicely toned. Okay. Here's a Secretariat one ounce bar. It's the unit United States Silver Corporation. Possibly in rough shape. I'm not going to take it out of there, out of the plastic. Okay. This one's interesting. Also paid spot. This one's called the Tattooist. Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell's the Tattooist. This is 999 fine silver. This one has. This one has a serial number of. 2057. Not going to be able to see it. Here is the Norman Rockwell. Okay. This is Best Love Post Covers from 1916 to 1960. Uh, I don't recall when this is minted. I did look it up, but I don't have that now. Okay. Picked up a proof rail. Proof half ounce coin here. This is the Mountie. These have a limited mintage of 8,000. This is the proof. This is Canadian. It's the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Pretty neat. Just an impulse purchase. Okay. Try to move a little quicker here. I have <clears throat> my final show pickup. This is a 1992 Kookaburra. 1992. 300,000 mintage. This is Anax, but it's protected, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, moving on to my JM Bullion pickup for the month. Picked up four of the Stormtroopers. Three. Three of the Stormtroopers. <clears throat> There's three. Probably doesn't do this justice but it's pretty sharp. This is the second in the series after Darth Vader. Okay. Picked up, oh sorry, that's not jam. Uh, <clears throat> decided to get into um, the Rwanda Wildlife Series, so I picked up these three. This wraps, uh, rounds out my order for jam bullion, so here's the hippo. Here's the Meerkat, and I could tell from looking from this angle, this is a well struck coin. Okay. 
and then finally the Cape Buffalo. And then so recently I've been watching a lot of uh, African animal documentaries, so kind of inspired me to pick these up and continue with the series. I didn't want to go back too far. The only ones I could find was on Atmax and they're a bit pricey. So I picked up what was available, the BU versions on Jay and Bulia. Okay. And these are the Stormtroopers. And finally to wrap it up, this is just an example of a trade. Um, so I had a 100 ounce bar and I had been wanting to trade it in for uh, 10 ounce bars for a while that I talked to my local coin shop dealer over the last several months and I've been doing business with him for about six months even though I had met him at a coin show uh, over a year ago maybe a year and a half anyway so he is willing to make a deal and he actually did did me quite a deal and so I took in the 10 ounce the 100 ounce bar and I picked up four A marks four A mark bars there's three three sunshine minting those are identical then two Royal Canadian Mint Bars, serialized. Those are nice. Okay, so that's five and four is nine. And the final one, this one's kind of interesting. This one's a Rarities Mint, serialized, number 1831. And I checked these out a little bit <clears throat> and I found one or two on uh, eBay. None with a uh, couple of that had the earlier serial numbers. This one's 1831, I believe I said. Yep. Anyway, this is pretty cool. These were minted uh, late 80s, early 90s. This Rarities Mint was in business for about five years, mostly doing rounds and for Disney. Disney rounds, my understanding. And. <clears throat> Anyway, here's the deal that he offered me, which I readily accepted, is $1 per 10-ounce bar plus the shipping on the 100-ounce bar, which was $25. Uh, so for the cost of $0.35 cents per ounce, I was able to convert the 100-ounce bar uh, to these. And it was a generic 100-ounce bar, uh, RMC and able to pick up um, 10, 10 ounce bars. Um, thank you for watching. That, that's a, I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.